Yo, everybody, it's Zero Effect from 8WayRun.com, and welcome to episode 3 of Learning Lay Sha. This one is going to cover using frame advantage. Uh, I'm not sure how many parts this one's going to be because there's so many things that you can really do. Um, but uh, what we're going to do here, first of all, we're going to switch the ring just so we can get some more room here. Um, but frame advantage is one of the things that Leisha really, really shines in. Um, she has really good frames. She's really safe. Um, and if she's not knocking you down, chances are you're at a serious disadvantage in frames. Um, because of this, she can be played in a very aggressive fashion. So with that said, let's get started. Uh, obviously, a universal attack that leaves a lot of people at advantage is her 2A. Um, most characters 2As do the same thing as hers. Um, one thing to note about her 2A though is that it has much more range from crouch as it does from standing. Um, but, you know, be that as it may, when it hits, it's at, it leaves Leisha at plus 8 and she's in crouch. And you really can't ask for a better scenario. Um, catching step with this move Putting her at plus eight means that there's certain things that the the that you can now do that are now uninterruptible. And to prove that, now if I get hit with two A, I cannot. If you look at the the button display, if you can see the buttons at the bottom, I am mashing up or down, trying to quick step out of the way, and I just cannot do it. You see, she started the move there, but she just does not have the frames to sidestep 6kk on hit. If you block it, you can. But on hit, you just you, 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 there's nothing you can do. If I try to backstep, nothing doing. I can do that because a character-specific you know, backstep evade will work in that situation. However, if Leisha does full crouch 3b, I can't do that anymore. And even this is pretty much impossible to step uh, at, at minus 8. So if you hit somebody with 2A, full cross 3B is a safe option that you can go to that makes them have to block, um, maybe just guard, GI, something. But they cannot backstep it, they cannot sidestep it, it's guaranteed if they try to move at all. And you know, the same thing is true for 6kk. Um, the only difference is if they do block 6kk it is unsafe. But regardless because you have these frames you know you can also do this in a 6-6k you can do this in a while standing A and as you can see I'm mashing the B button but I'm still getting counter hit even though my move is faster than rising A. Rising A is about 18 frames. BB is 14. So mathematically, BB should win. But because 2A gives her such frame advantage, she can continue pressuring her opponent with slower moves, and they have to respect being at such disadvantage. They have to block, and that's where your mix-ups can come in. And after 2A hits, you're in crouch, remember? So you get that 50-50. Full crouch 3B, while standing A plus B, 6kk, you can step forward and throw. As long as they're respecting the fact that they're in, in disadvantage, you can mix them up endlessly. If they don't respect it, well, they can go for a ride. Now, uh, that's just with 2a. 6kk produces a similar result. 6kk also leaves, uh, leaves Leisha at plus 8 on hit. It does more damage than 2A, and it, be, and it basically leaves her in the same position, in crouch, plus 8. Now, because of that, she can pretty much do this all day unless the opponent realizes, I need to block. I can't step. I can't back step. And I certainly can't attack. The only thing I can do is use some kind of a backstep evade that gives her a boosted backstep. 
But other than that, you really can't do a whole lot. Most of the characters can't do a whole lot. There are a couple. I believe there's one that can just backstep it clean. Uh, but I'll leave that to you guys to figure out for yourselves. But for the most part, if Alicia hits you with 6kk, you must respect the follow-ups. Um, and that's, you know, that's one way to keep pressure. The other thing is, if you know that they're going to try and backstep, you can use things like 6BB. Because it's going to read their backstep, it's going to catch them for a counter hit combo, and that's going to be all kinds of damage that they don't need. You know, there's other things you can do this into 4-4-A, so that if they step, they get run countered there as well. Um, you know, there's so many different things you can use. 6-6-A-A, Bullcraft 3-B, 6-6-K, which also gives frame advantage on hit, and we'll move on to that next. 6-6-K on hit, if they try to attack you, Again, this is just going to keep hitting them all day. 2A, it puts you in back turn, so there's not a whole lot you can do. The only thing you can do to get out of this is take a side step to your character's left by simply tapping. If you're on the one, one player side, you can tap the up button when back turned. It's not working now for some reason. Um, there you go. Uh, you can't do it the other way because it tracks to that side. If you're on the two-player side, you want to tap down. But pretty much, you know, 3A plus B follow-up is going to beat any kind of movement whatsoever. It's going to beat any kind of sidestep. And, of course, it's going to beat any kind of attack. So that's one follow-up you can use after 6 6 6 k hits. Uh, I like to use 3K because even if it even if it's blocked, it creates enough space that you can start moving around. If it hits, well, 3K also gives frame advantage. Uh, not quite as much as 6K. I believe it gives plus 4 3K. Um, 6K, I believe, is plus 6 or something. Uh, either way, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's enough to where you can continue to attack them and apply pressure if they decide... Uh, that they don't want to respect your frames. Um, so that's that. Um, now, the last one that I'm going to really get into is Wild Rising K. Because as I said before in a previous episode, this move is very underrated. Um, this move is minus 2 on block, plus 10 on hit. Which means... If Leisha does while standing K into AA, I cannot do anything. I cannot GI. I cannot just guard. I cannot step. I cannot back step. I can't even 4 4 B. The only thing you can do is manually duck and punish. And because that's your only option, most people are going to either stand there and block, which opens them up to throws. Uh, opens them up to while standing A plus B, opens them up to 2K, or if you don't even want to get fancy, opens them up to uh, moves that really hurt the gauge. Uh, you know, then you can start adding in a bunch of feints, a lot of things that you know when you can read a defense. Um, so that's that. You know, uh, that, that pretty much uh, wraps up the moves, the main moves that are going to give you a massive frame advantage. Um, but when we come back, we're going to show you what you can do when you use frame advantage on block.